All right, what's up guys, this is Spooky, and welcome to the Team Spooky YouTube as always. Today, I'm making a video to talk to you all about multi-blood type Lumina, and in today's video, I'm calling it Spooky's Saber Tips, and this is to answer all the questions that I've already received about Saber, and some basic like day one, day zero tips on how to get better at playing Saber, and what tricks you can use. I especially wanna help out because I see a lot of feedback on this character, and people saying that they think she's not very strong. So, you know, I want to band together with all the Saber homies, okay, to make sure that, no, okay, y'all lying. I want her to be strong, okay? So, first, I'm going to teach you all the combos that I know. And you guys try them all out and pick which ones work for you. The first combo is the most basic, okay, anybody can do this. Literally, even if you're a total scrub at fighting games, you can do this combo. It's anything, it's auto combo. And then what you do is you do one BC and you don't double jump. And I'll tell you why, it's really important. But do not double jump. Just do one BC and an air throw at the end of the combo. And I'll teach you a little bit more about the special mix-up behind that and the safe jump mix that you can do, but the idea is you want one of those. So anybody can do that combo, it's really easy. So the next combo, layer two, this one's a mission mode combo that they teach you. It's a very good combo. This is one of the most stable tournament combos and it does almost as much damage as the hardest combo that we know of so far. The idea is you want to do crowd C, stand C, forward C, or 2C, 5C, 6C into this move, Chorus Hooker Back Medium or 214B. And here's what it looks like. Pretty good damage, and it's a very stable tournament combo. This pretty much, unless you're really nervous, or you hit at a really weird angle, it always works. Very good combo. And it also gives you the safe jump that we were talking about. So, next... Next, next, next is this one's a bit harder so it might take me a couple tries but the idea is it's the same thing but you're comboing into medium uppercut and from the medium uppercut you want to do an air dash heavy and here's what that looks like and you can set up the same safe jump after two which is really nice one more time. That's the hardest part is the air dash heavy. It gets a bit easier if you have less hits in the combo. Anyway, guys, practice up. I have to practice it more too. I find this combo difficult still, but it's a very good combo. It does more damage than the other combo, but it's a little more unstable. You got to get used to it. You can also auto combo on the re-jump part. Although it does less damage if you go that route. Anyway, good combo. I find it a little hard and a little unstable sometimes, so I'm still practicing it, but try it out. So now let's talk about combos that you can do from the records because people are not utilizing these a lot yet and there's actually some good combos you can do from this. So this move, first I gotta teach you about this move, the down down heavy, right? It's less damage than the 214 heavy. Okay, which is a, com a common combo tool. It's less damage in this move, don't get me wrong. But the thing about this move that's nice is... Uh, let's get the... Actually, let's get them to block for a second. And then reversal, crouch. All right, so the thing that's nice about this move... Let's try one more time. It's plus eight. Very useful. And I'll show you some ways to use it in strings and combos. The idea is you want to use it really well with the records because this means that you can have like block string pressure. See, you can try to fake them out with the lows. Let's say they get hit by it like that. See, because you timed it well. Uh, one thing you can do is invisible air, run up to C, and just, I just auto combo. That's how I extend it. I'm sure there's a better combo if you practice chat. You can probably do the uppercut combo there if you're nice. Try it out. Anyway, that's one of the... Those are, I guess, some of the basic combos that I want to cover. There's one more record combo that's not bad too, which is that you can do the records into 236C, and this is what that looks like. Uh, let's do it on them not blocking, just to show you what it looks like. Pretty basic combo, but really good. I did it too slow there. One... You can also do Excalibur. Excalibur is actually pretty good when you want to finish someone off. The scaling is very good. 
I didn't realize you had to do the second record so fast, so they haven't learned. All right, so in the corner, there is some more stuff you can utilize that normally you don't get to use. You get to utilize this move, the 214 light or 214A, quarter circle back air, whichever one you prefer, Chad. Anyway, the way that you guys can utilize this move in the corner is off the bounce. Instead of going for the 214B or the quarter circle back medium, you go for the, 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 the light version instead. And this is what it looks like. Now, you can even get more damage again by using the invisible air here. Or strike gear. Cool. So I think we covered some of the basic stuff. One more thing is that you can always use, let's say you need a little more damage in your combo, you can always use the air moon skill. This move. You can always use this move to extend damage if you need to in your combo. You can get Excalibur at the end that way, or if you already launched them, let's say you have only one EX, one nice thing you can do is you can end with the quarter circle forward heavy or 236C, and if you end that way, one thing that's nice about it is it's the hard knockdown. See, so you still get the rush. You don't get the exact same mix up as the other combo, but you can try to set up like a neutral jump mix or something like that from it too. Pretty nice. All right, chat. So I think we covered a lot of the basic combos that are good to utilize. Now I want to cover the safe jump mix or the safe jump tech that we've just been talking about. And here's what some of the options look like from the safe jump. I'm going to utilize the intermediate combo to show you everything. Makes it easier for me. So the first option is just double jump, cross up. Just like this. Take a look. And when you're good at it, you can even do super fancy combos from this once you get good at it. Second option, neutral jump, falling jump M. Same mix. Third option, empty low. This one loses to mash, but it does not lose to, uh, let's see, can I make them wake up shield? This is what will happen if they shield. Same mix. Throw fake. One more option. Uh, this one I think loses the shield, but we'll try anyway. Jump pass, air back dash. If you do it right, that might have been right. Let's try again. If you do it right, you can combo there. One more time. This one's the hardest mix. But it's a really good mix for people that have good defense. It throws them off. Same mix. So now, sometimes you do guess wrong, and they will shield. When that happens, I'm going to teach you some of the stuff to do uh, when that happens. Can I do shield counter? Can I choose the shield counter or is it just standing shield? All right, let's see if I can get them to shield counter as well. Okay, I can't, sweet, all right. So let's, let's defeat this. That's a basic idea of how to counter the shield. It's still an RPS situation, so they still can react to your shield counter. 
but having at least that first layer that I showed you is very important because if you have the first layer established, it really shuts down their shield. They have to instead use shield escape, uh, shield B. They have to use a lot more awkward options to get out even when they use their shield. So by having that option to defeat their shield counter, you really establish your pressure and your setups. All right, chat. So now that we've covered the safe jump options, one last thing I want to cover is reversal moves because I noticed that not everybody knows what are good reversals or what reversals to use or things like that. So I'm going to program the dummy to do a crouching heavy just to show you a little bit easier what I'm talking about. So they're going to guard and then as soon as they're done guarding, he's going to reversal or she's going to reversal, excuse me, crouching heavy. Oops, I gotta make them guard first. Guard all, shield off. So the first invincible option is the, is the uppercut heavy. It is full invincible. So it blows through everything. It doesn't matter what it is. It's frame one invincible. One through 16, I think something like that. It's really invincible. So it blows through lots of stuff. It hard knocks down, which is nice. You don't really get a combo after or anything like that, but it's just a good reader reversal. If they're not thinking about it, they're not watching out for it. It's pretty strong. So the second reversal, this is one that I find people know less about, but it's very good, is the Moon Drive 3B plus C. And that's when you're in Moon. So, excuse me, the Moon Skill 3B plus C, or down forward, medium plus heavy, when you're in Moon Drive. Not the regular one. So the regular one, see, this is not invincible. It gets body. Now, the Moon Drive one, you get a combo after two. Back to the safe jump, baby. So one more time to, to show you the power of the move. Frame one clash. It has multiple clash frames, too. Anyway, there you go, chat. The last reversal is kind of risky, but it is really good for being a high damage reversal, and that's uh, the Excalibur or the Avalon. Either are good. Uh, let's start with the Excalibur. Whoa. What the heck? Come on, move. There we go. <laughs> All right, so there's the Excalibur. Is it half circle or is it quarter circle? It looks like it's quarter circle. All right. There's also the Avalon. This move is good. It's very good frame one counter. The main thing that is nice about being Saber is that you do have a lot of reversals and your reversals are more dangerous than people think at first. As an example, uh, stuff like a Kohaku Cactus, depending on how they set it up, you can actually blow through the entire thing depending on what they're trying to do. Uh, the timing is pretty difficult, but it's doable. Things like that. So a very good move once again is the Moon Drive 3B plus C. Excellent move. Try it out. So, what else? I guess that's pretty much it, chat, for the day one tips. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Once again, my name is Spooky. Don't be afraid to write in the comments and ask questions or ask for more things that you want help with so that we can make a part two to this video. All love to all the Saber homies out there. Let's learn together and try to improve our game and get better, everybody. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to watch NOBC tonight. Next up, Battle Circuit Guilty Gear Strive. It should be a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoy it. That's it. Peace, everybody.